The preparation and maintenance of a price list is an important part of every business. Order 15 has developed an impressive price list feature that is sure to help a business to survive in the competitive market. So Odo enables a user to create a price list and set it for the customers. So we get the best support for preparing predefined discounts and prices for each product. So you can see this is our Odo dashboard and from here let's open our sales module and go to computation settings. There we can see the option price list. So you can set multiple sales prices per product with automated discounts, etc. So for price list, we have two price list method. One is multiple prices per product. So using this, we can create fixed price rules by product. And we can also define advanced price rules for price list using discounts and advanced formulas. So after choosing the method, you have to save the settings and here you can find option to create and configure price list or you can also come under products there you can find a menu that is price list so when you click on that you can see some pre-configured price list uh, with some few details shown on list view including prices name currency uh, then the website in which it is published and this price list are also shown on a Kanban view. So let's create a new one by just clicking on this create button. Here we can provide the price list name. And you can choose a currency. So you can see this field currency only when you have enabled multi-currency option. And after choosing the currency, you can set a company. That is, if you want to make this price list only available for a particular company, you can choose a company. And if you leave, leave this empty, then that it will be available for every company. Every company that you have created. And then here you can see the option to add the price rule. So as we have enabled advanced price rule, you can compute the price using discounts and formulas. So here we have three price computation methods. One is fixed price. That is you can compute, set fixed price for your product. Or you can set add discounts for products. Then price can be computed using formula based on sales price or cost or other price list. So if it is other price list, then you have to choose the uh, price list from here. So let me set it as based on sales price and you can provide a discount inside this formula. Then extra fee or surcharge if needed, you can add. And you can round uh, the price by setting a rounding method. And here we can set a margin range. That is we can set a minimum and maximum margin. So after setting the price computation details, here we can apply this on products. So you can apply on all products or on a particular product category or on product or product variant. So let me choose a product. Let it be armchair. And when you go to external link, you can see the product details. So here you can see the sales price is $2.95. And we have set a default unit of measure as units. Now here we can set a minimum quantity. That is for the rule to apply, uh, the quantity purchased or sold must be greater than or equal to the minimum quantity specified in this field. So it is expressed as the default unit of measure of the product. So I'm setting it as one. And after providing the minimum quantity, you can set the validity period of this price list. So you can set the start date and end date of this price list validity. Now, after that, we can save and close.
So one price rule is added. Uh, that is the price is computed using a formula uh, for the product armchair. Then again, you can add a price rule. Uh, let me compute this will discount. So I'm giving a 30 percentage discount for the product. And let me give it to product category. I'm giving a 30 percent discount for products that is belong to office furniture with the minimum quantity to save. Same way, I'm setting a fixed price for a product with the lotion with an amount 200. So you can see I have added three price rules and just come under configuration. There you can see some options like you can restrict the availability of this price list to some country groups. And you can also restrict publishing this price list on a particular website and you can make it as selectable that is choosable by the user. And you can also add an e-commerce promotional code that can be used by the user uh, later for getting rewards in the form of discounts or free products. So after setting, you can save it. So you can see price list is created. Now after creating price list, you can set this price list for a customer. So when you come under orders, you can find customers. Just open a customer. From the form, you can see sales and purchase tab. Just come under that. Here we have a field that is price list. So choose a price list. You can choose a default IANA that I have just created. Now, just save the settings. Sorry, save the customer. Now let's create a quotation. Add the customer for which we have set a default price list, default INR price list. You can see when I have selected Azure interior, this price list is automatically added. Now let's add a product. So I'm adding armchair for which we have set a price rule inside this price list default INR. And here you can see unit price is shown. So this is shown in Indian rupee and our company's default currency is USD. So when you go to configuration, from configuration settings, when you search for currency, You can see that uh, our main currency, that is main currency of a company is USD. So when I click on currencies, I can view all the currencies available. And some of them are made active. And you can see INR is made active. So when you click on this INR, you can see the unit per USD. So just copy that amount from here. Now let's go back to a quotation. So let's take a calculator and compute the unit price, newly computed unit price in USD. So 11,700. Point zero five divided by the rate in INR. Here you can see the amount in USD it is around three hundred. So this one is a newly created computed unit price that is three hundred. And here 
when you go to external link of this product, you can see the old sales price. It is two ninety five. So how this new sales price is computed? For that, when you go to price list, when you open armchair price were created for armchair, you can see. Uh, the price is computed based on sales price by giving a ten percent use discount, and with a margin range, you can see minimum margin five and maximum is ten. So our old sales price was two ninety five. So ten percent is of two ninety five. Can see it's twenty nine point five. So the total that is newly computed uh, sales price is two sixty five point five. So when you take the difference of new sales price and old sales price, that is new sales price two sixty five point five minus old sales price two ninety five. This gives. Two sixty five point five minus two ninety five. This gives negative twenty nine point five. So this difference is less than the minimum margin five. So if the difference is less than the minimum margin, then we have to add the minimum margin with the old sales price. So in this case, we have to add the minimum margin five with. Two ninety five, which gives around three hundred. So this is how the price is computed, and in this case, that three hundred is converted to Indian rupee, and we get eleven thousand six seven sixty eight point zero five. Now, suppose if I change the formula, like here I have given a ten percent discount. Let me put it as zero, and add an extra fee, say three hundred. If I calculate the new sales price here, we can see two ninety five plus. Hundred. That is the extra fee gives three ninety five. So this one is the new sales price. Difference between new sales price and old sales price will be three ninety five minus two ninety five. That is hundred. So this hundred is greater than the minimum margin, but it exceeds the maximum margin. So the margin must not go beyond this amount. That is the maximum amount. So in this case, new sales price must not be three ninety five. It should be two ninety five plus ten, which gives three zero five. So let's check whether this works. So you can see this is around three zero five. So the new sales price is computed by adding ten with the old sales price. So that's how it works. Now let's check the other price tools. Like we have that a thirty percent discount for products under office furniture category. 
So let's create a new quotation. And give the prices. Here I'm going to add a product chair, which belongs to office furniture. So we have desk chair. So for this desk chair, the price in USD is 140. You can see this is around 5,491.7576 Indian rupees. So here you can see no discount is given uh, for customer. This is because the quantity is set as one. So inside the price rule, we have said that if customer purchases minimum quantity of a furniture, uh, that is minimum two quantity of a furniture, 30% discount will be given to the customer. So now you can see the unit price is updated as 3,844. So the uh, amount in USD is around 98.1, so which is a 30 percentage of 140. So this is how uh, discount is given using the price list. And we have also set a price tool with the fixed price for the product baby lotion. So for that also let me check how it works. Here you can see 200 is set as a fixed price for this product according to the price rule. And here you can also see an option to recompute all prices based on price list. For example, uh, here let me add product armchair. Let me choose another price list. And if I click on update prices, this can see message shown. This will update all unit prices based on the currently set price list. So you have you can see that I have changed the price list to default USD prices. And if I click on update, you can see now the price is updated according to the newly selected price list. So order 15 price list can be really useful as they will help to sort out customers by region and take currency variations into account. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching. And if you require any implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyberoffice.com.